this is one of the tops for the nest of tables. There are four tables. This is the second largest of the tables. And it needs that inlay of veneer, this cross-banded sandalwood. I've cut these little strips. They're about 5 sixteenths inch wide. And I need to place that border all the way around. Here's one of the other tops that I glued yesterday. It's the glue still on here. This needs to be scraped. But uh, this is what I need to achieve with these miter joints in the corners. So the first thing I do is take one of these strips and create a miter joint. I've got this block up here that has 45 degree pencil lines on it so I can use it to as a guide for chopping a 45 degree angle and then I also need to square it up at the other end with a chisel and this strip then is ready to ready to glue. I use a veneer hammer. Here's the veneer hammer. And I'm just, there's a little bit of dried glue on here. I'm just going to clean that, up, that blade up a little bit. Okay. So, I'm ready to place some glue on here. The hot hide glue is just to my right here and I'll just brush that on the length that I have and sit that in that little rebate. Get that miter in the, right in the corner and press down a little bit and then spread some glue on the top and use the veneer hammer to press that, get that, get that glue out of there, squeezed out. Ready then for the next piece. These are a little bit wider than I have to have. So some of this width is going to be lost in when I put the... I'm going to straighten out that square up that and a little bit and butt it up so there's going to be holly on the edge here that that will take away some of this satin wood and then there'll be a little bead that protrudes up above the surface about a sixteenth of an inch and that will be in this location and take away a little bit from the other edge. I'll end up with about a quarter inch of this cross banded satin wood. So now looks to me like I've got to create a little miter at, at a 
place. And I need a little pencil mark where that miter needs to start. Right there. And I want a miter to go that direction. And I want the square, the flat part of the chisel on the good side of the cut. Hopefully that's going to be right. Yes, that's exactly where I want it to be. Get a little glue on that surface. And then press it down. Squeeze out the, the glue. tip is of that miter is quite fragile because of that cross grain but part of it's going to go away with that holly stringing so I've got one edge complete and I just continue all the way around like this then I'll scrape off a little bit of that glue it'll it'll gel up and I'll scrape off some of it, but I won't scrape much until after it's overnight dry. Uh, so I'm ready to now start this, this next side.